Hello everybody and welcome back to Bastide. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu. And in this episode we're going to continue on with our little playthrough of Bastide. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough so far and this series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave a like. If you are liking it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help me out massively. So if you could show your support, man, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, I've noticed uh, about 80% of you guys who are watching the videos have not subscribed. So yeah, if you just want to take a couple of minutes out, if you're liking what you're seeing, just to smack that subscribe button and smash that like button as well. If you're liking what you're seeing as well, it would be greatly appreciated. You really are helping this channel out massively and it allows me to continue doing what I'm doing. So yeah, thank you for that and I really do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, in this episode, I'm just going to speed up time a little bit until the morning because everyone goes into their homes. There we go. Just put it down to two. Yeah, it's... Excuse What? What's kill pig? What's kill pig? Maybe I asked kill pig. Right, yeah, so I've got two wheat fields growing now, because obviously I'm trying to produce a lot of bread, because the happiness is down to 34 now, and um, obviously it can only really be increased with bread, alcohol, or prayer. So, as you could probably tell... Oh, maybe that's who killed pig, Hunter. I forgot I had Hunter's Hut. Mate, I asked... Hang on a minute. No, I asked everything to be killed but these, didn't I? I don't want pig to be killed. Or sheep. I don't know what that is. I don't want pig or sheep to be killed because I want to make another two pastures with them and I don't want to lose them all. So if you could kill everything else but that, mate. But yeah, so food's pretty good at the moment. Uh, we're looking at it. We're looking pretty good. We've got plenty of wheat. Uh, hence why I've got, I've got two people working this. Because obviously I'm trying to make a lot of bread for our people to be happy. Um, obviously I need to make um, sort of alcohol as well. And I want to get the church up. So in this episode, that's what sort of what I want to do. Um, obviously I need to get some more people in, obviously, to work these buildings though. Which is a, a, the other problem I have. Uh, I can get another house up. We've got plenty of resources. So I might go and build... Hang on a sec. Oh, that takes loads of stone. That's the problem. Right, okay. Stone's hard to come by, so I don't really want to go for that. I'm happy to go for this. So I'm going to get another house up. Uh, Q and E to rotate. I only want it rotated a little bit, though, bro. I want to put another little house here. I'm going to put it as close as I can without going too close. Beautiful. We should have a labourer on who should come and build that, so that's great. Um... Yeah, obviously, that will bring in another three people, so we should have up to 15, which will then allow me to... Oh, we've got 10 meat. Mate, we're doing, we're doing well for food. We're doing well for a lot of things, to be honest. We've got plenty of tools and clothes and all that sort of good stuff, so... Uh, although clothes, I am... I've got a limp or something. Yeah, so clothes, I am sort of looking at a little bit. Uh, just because obviously we're down to eight and we've got 12 people so I think everyone is clothes though if you press people you can see here they've all got a clothes symbol and they've all got a, a tool symbol so I think once their clothes sort of deteriorate that will disappear and then they'll just get another one so everyone is clothes for now so we are we are good for both of them uh, there we go we can have up to 15 people in now uh, obviously the next thing I want to do is I don't see I don't know whether to try and see the thing with the church is that's going to take a lot of stone which is hard to get. Um, but yet the tavern and the... I think it will be the brewery. That's like 14... What's that? That's 22. That's going to be 22 stone. That's going to be 32. But that's only 11 wood. Whereas this is going to be 17... What's that? Like 29 wood. Right, okay, so I think I might go for this route, the brewery and the tavern, because uh, wood's actually easier to get. Uh, I've got one labourer at the minute, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bang him in the forestry. And he will go and help the other forestry guy out cut down some trees. I think they cut down and replant. So, because obviously I've got them to cut down this area, but these are growing back, I'm sure they are. Right, let me speed up time because we're middle of the night again. Everyone goes into their house at night time. No one works, so. Why have I got, why have I got no one on this field? Right, hang on a sec. I should have someone on that field. 
Um, well, let me take one guy off the mill then. Actually, no, because I've got a lot of wheat, I think. Yeah, I'll have two guys in the mill. Right, and then obviously I'll have the one farmer doing this one. Just for now. Obviously, look, it's really quite a cool animation. Look, he comes and he actually, like, proper cuts it down, and that's really cool. Yeah, I would like you guys as well to really sort of... Not in a bad way, but don't really pay too much attention to the bad reviews this game's got on Steam. Because obviously a lot of them reviews had happened when the game first come out. And it was sort of um, in its very early phases. Obviously you guys have seen me play this now for what? This is our third episode, is it, I think? Uh, sorry, fourth episode. This is going to be our fourth episode. And obviously, apart from little weird sort of glitches now and again... We haven't seen any problems, so I really don't want you guys to judge it just off the reviews on Steam because they're very misleading. Uh, yeah, in the, the, I think it was uh, the other day, yesterday it might have been for me, it might be a few days ago, uh, they actually introduced a new building, a fisherman's hut. Collect fish in the nearest part of the river. Uh, only takes three wood as well, so I might do that because obviously you could always do more food. It literally takes three wood. So I can literally put this, if we put this really close to the river... I'll put that down there. I think I've got a labourer. Yeah. So again, that's just going to bring in more food, which is great. Put that right down here by river. Low amount of clothes. Yeah, we've only got three. Wow. Uh, right, okay. Um, right, let's try and switch around. Uh, right. At least I've still got one person in there. Uh, definitely need one person back in the tailor now. Yeah, I do like that. You do get like nice little notifications and stuff. Uh, happiness is slowly rising. I wonder if that's because of the bread. Obviously, we've got six bread in there now. So, for some reason, people seem to like bread. So, what happened to that field? Mate, all... I was going to say I thought all that wheat had gone, but I think it's just discoloured. I think it may be the shadowing. Or where the sun is in the sky, maybe. Yeah, because it was sort of in the evening, early evening. Uh, I want to be careful though, I don't want to lose that wheat, I just hope it doesn't go. Because once this field's done, I could probably take that farmer off and put him on that one, maybe. Uh, we should have another, yeah, we've got two labourers now, so if I can get one guy on this farm, we can produce plenty more wheat, and then we can produce plenty more bread. Um, right, that's built now. So that will give me one more labourer, yeah, and then when we get another person in... I'm going to leave that unmanned for now, because obviously food food is amazing. We're really good for food, so I don't need it. So I'm just going to leave that unmanned for now. I want to keep a labourer. Um, actually, what I might do is I might put that last labourer in the tailor. Uh, let's really get some of these clothes going now, because we're coming up to winter, and I don't want to be short on clothes. We're also going to have to probably put a um, firewood guy on soon as well, because I want to bump the firewood up for winter as well. So that's another thing we're going to have to look into. Uh, we're coming up to... I think when it hits midnight, I think they all pretty much go into their houses. Like, sort of roughly. So I think when it hits midnight, we'll just speed it up. Yeah, look up there. Yeah, they all go. Right, so we've got 15 people now. So, yep, so we should have another guy labouring. Uh, yeah, we nearly, really need to get these clothes um, knocked out pretty quick. Everyone has got clothes, so, but obviously I think they do wear out sort of quite quick, so, as you can see, we've literally got one now, so we need to knock these out pretty quick. We should have plenty of resources, it takes cloth, leather, or wool, I think we've got, yeah, we've got nine cloth, seven leather, and four wool, so, that shouldn't be a problem, get these farms going, get the guy in there milling. Get the bread down to one bread now. Happiness is going up a little bit. That's nice. Yeah, I want to get loads of wood. Because I think our next building we're going to do is the brewery. Actually, we could do that now. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to do that. Right, let's build the brewery. I want to do that. I might do it here. I want it sort of quite close to town. I want to spin it round sort of that way. I want the door facing like inwards to the town. Yeah, that'll do. We'll have that there. I think I should have a labourer. Yeah, we've got a labourer. Uh, what are we like for sort of swords and stuff? Got, still got three swords and two armour. 
Right, okay. Right, so I've just literally sped through that day <laughs> by accident. Right, so firewood's becoming low as well now. Uh, food's still staying strong, so that's nice. Obviously, we're good adding the more people. I weren't sure if that was going to go down a lot, but I think I'll have to kick someone in on um, clothing as well now. Tools were still staying strong. Uh, wood's coming in quite nice. So I'm going to take one guy off that and let's start doing some firewood. Uh, yeah, we've still got a labourer building the tavern. That's fine. Right, let's have a look. Where are we like for bread? We've got three bread. That's fine. Um, I also want to look into as well, which won't be just yet, but the miscellaneous things. I want to look into things like the... Uh, no, not miscellaneous. Where is it? Army. Yeah, like the wood walls and stuff. Slow down the enemy's attacks. And you've got a barracks as well. Train soldiers. Soldiers will patrol the surrounding area. That's really good as well, because we are getting attacked. I don't know if maybe as the bigger your sort of settlement grows, maybe the more you get attacked or the... You might get attacked more. I know they're attacking from... Let me slow down speed a little bit. I know they're attacking from this bridge. So, because their camp is literally just over from this bridge. If I zoom out, just come straight back from that bridge. Look, they're attacking from here. So, I don't know if we can go over and attack them or not. I don't actually know. But look, you can see our settlement from over there. <laughs> that looks really cool. I do want to see, um, like, water in the game, though. I still want to see that. Right, why are you... Oh, I didn't put anyone in there, did I? I was going to say, it looked like I had, because, look, the icon doesn't come up until you go near it. Right, still got low amount of clothes. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that a sec. What are we like for? Oh, we've still got 10 of 10. Right, so we're still getting plenty of food. Food's 125 now. Wow. That's what I like to see. You can never have too much food. Uh, we could probably get rid of the Herbalers Hut because we've got plenty of medicine now. We're currently sitting at 17. So, and no one's really getting sick because we're keeping them fed and warm and whatnot. So, um, obviously I've got the hint Hunter bringing in stuff. Yeah, so we could possibly take the Herbaler off. I'm just trying to think where to maybe put them. I mean, I don't think there's any point in really making alcohol yet. Until we get the um, the tavern as well to sell it. Looks like you need berries to produce wine and wheat to produce beer. I don't know if maybe you can choose it though. Because uh, obviously I have... Yeah, we have 22 berries. We have 44 wheat though. Okay. Right, let's speed up time because it's middle of the night. No one's doing anything. I always like to do three throughout the night because it's super quick. And then when we get into the morning, everyone comes out like, just slow it down to two. Uh, we have got one labourer, haven't we, right? But So because we're not really building anything, we should try and put him somewhere. Um, the thing that I'm thinking of doing is possibly putting him... I might... Hmm, I might put him in the wind. Yeah, I might... got one guy in there that I'm trying to make it as like as productive as possible uh, I might put one guy in the fisherman and take the herbaler out for now so I've still got one guy just want to see them sort of catch some fish I wonder I don't think I think the dev said that there's no animation for it yet Yeah, you think he just literally stands just stands at the water, stares him out. It's a staring out contest, look. He's psyching the fish out. He, he's just making them jump. Making them jump into his arms. Yeah, the dev did say that he was going to implement a um, sort of an animation for that, but that's fine. Um, I like the fact that the dev's constantly updating the game. It's really uh, promising to see. So I do want to take my hat off to the devs. He's doing a good job so far. Uh, yeah, we're still producing bread. I mean, over the time, look, it says we've produced 78 bread. That doesn't mean you've got 78 bread. That's how many bread you've produced since you've had the bakery. See, so it seems like we produce bread quicker than wheat. 
So because I've still got another labourer, I might put him in the mill. Uh, let's try and see if we can just produce a little more wheat. Uh, uh, sorry, flour. Because as you can see from the whales, we've got 51 wheat, but we've only got 4 flour, 3 flour and 6 bread. So maybe if we can churn more flour out, they'll make more bread. That's the plan anyway. I mean, food's staying really strong at the moment. Uh, let's have a look. What the hell was that? Right, woodcutter's going strong. We've got the tailors. We've got two people in there as well. So once we get a, a nice amount of clothes, we can probably drop that down to one. And then maybe we can put him possibly elsewhere. Maybe we might. I might put him in the brewery to start making the stuff. Uh, let's just have a look what we need for the tavern. Oh, we need eight stone and 17 wood. We're not actually that far off that, to be honest. I just want to keep an eye on things like medicine and that. I want to keep an eye on things like the tools and medicine because we haven't got anyone working there. So you don't want it to drop too low. Or else you're going to struggle. Right, happiness is back down to 30%. So yeah, so I think we need something like this or the church. The church is going to be tough because it needs 32 stone. I think the only other way I'm going to get around that is probably getting more people and either filling the mine full or maybe making another mine. But I think unless we have full people working this mine, I think it's a bit... I don't know if it's better to have two mines with one person working in each mine or whether to just have one mine and have it maxed out at three people. Uh, I don't really know what the sort of conversion rate is for it. But I suppose we'll just have to keep an eye on it and just see. Alright, so clothes are looking really good. Right, Taylor's... What is that? That's a cow. I thought it was a wolf. Alright, let's speed up time. Alright, so no one should be cold. No one should be hungry. We've got plenty of firewood. Obviously, the firewood, he will hit 50. And then, obviously, he'll stop. But I'll probably stop him. Actually, I might leave him in there for the cold weather, because then at least if it drops below 50, he'll just keep knocking it out, so that's cool. Uh, what are we like for bread? Are we still making more? Uh, we ain't making as much bread. We are making flour a bit faster. I mean, I don't know if the production line's a bit slower. Alright, he's gathering the last little bit of that, so that's fine. I think they're planting as well, even though it's like winter, but okay. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't complaining. Right, we look, yeah, the only problem with the firewood is, right, let's take him off because he's at 50. Uh, the problem with the firewood is obviously he uses wood for firewood, which obviously makes sense. Uh, right, we've got a labourer. Let me put him back in with the with the wood. Let's try and get that up so I can get the tavern. I need I only need one more stone for that, but we need loads more wood. So hopefully we can get that up. Food is still amazingly good. Loads of berries. Hopefully we'll use the berries to turn into wine. I mean, we've got plenty of wheat as well, so we could sort of do both, to be honest. Trying to churn this flour out into bread, though. Make people happier. Obviously, as you can see, people are uh, not very happy. I think they want some beer. They want some alcohol, bro. Makes everyone happier. <laughs> right, so, yeah. What? No! Right, hang on a sec. Get on! Who do you think you are? You killed one of my men. I think another guy will come into town anyway. He'll just, uh, they'll just replace him. But yeah, I don't like that. Where's... Oh, we've still got three swords and two armour. Right, that, I don't mind the mine being down just at the moment because obviously I'm just trying to concentrate on the wood. Once I get enough wood for the tavern, then I can take one guy out of the forester. Oh, we've already got another guy back now anyway. Uh, does he just go straight into the mine? Where's he at? Taylor, Taylor. I don't know where he is. Oh, is he, he must be right at the top there. No, he's not. I thought he'd have just come in as a as a labourer. Oh, he is. He's at the bottom there. Hugh. Yo, Hugh. Where are you at, Hubo? Uh, hang on a minute, son. Son, 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 son. Wait, 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 wait. Hugh. 
Come, come mine for me, bro. That's a good lad. Oh, all like for medicine and stuff. Clothes. See, clothes are still sort of staying strong. I mean, I've got two people in there, though. So I think it's just because we've got more people. So that might be something now where once we get so many people, we might just have to constantly keep one guy in there. Tools seem to last longer. Uh, we've got no one in firewood, although that may be a bit of a problem. How many is this produced? 24 fish. Woo! That's nice, man. Um, I'm just trying to think. I don't... Right, we've got enough to make the tavern now. So, ooh, that's a big building. That's a nice building. Yeah, I want to I wanna give a massive shout-out to the devs for his um, sort of building productions as well. Because his buildings look absolutely amazing. Really, really good. I want to spin it round this way again. I want to sort of have it... See, it looks like a corner piece, doesn't it, like that? So I want to sort of... I don't know if I want it on a bit of a slant. Hang on a minute. Let me cancel that a bit. I want to come round this way. Right, let me... Um... Let me just slow down time to one. Right, and then let's go to tavern again. Here's tavern, isn't it? Yeah, I got brewery. I just want to see how it looks. Yeah, I think I might want it on a bit of a slant like that, to be honest. I think that looks quite nice. Bam. Right, now we're going to have to get a person to build it. So I'm thinking I might take the guy off the fisherman. Because obviously I've got plenty of plenty of food. I want these working because these give me sort of leather and milk as well. And they obviously they give me meat and eggs. Obviously I don't want to take the farmers off because they're really important for wheat. Obviously not only for bread but it's probably going to be for beer now as well. So obviously wheat's a really important commodity now as well. Um, yeah, obviously, I don't didn't want to take a, a person off of here because clothes are sort of constantly becoming quite low. Uh, let's speed up time to two again. All right, so once that tavern's built, hopefully that gives us a little bit more happiness. Um, yeah, we've got two people in the Forester's Lodge as well, which is what I want because I really need to get this wood back up because obviously I'm going to possibly need to make another house soon. Because the problem we're going to have now is obviously people working all these jobs again. I'm going to have to sort of micromanage them. Which I'd rather have one person in each job. But which in terms of food I could probably do that. I think for me it's like the clove situation. Tavern's nearly up. Bam. There's the tavern. Nice, nice. Well, I do want to sort of get that producing soonish because obviously it's going to make my people happy. Obviously, I could build another house, but because happiness is so low, they might not come. Or it might take them longer to come. So I might. Bread's good though, so I don't know why it's quite low. We're doing really well, but I think I've got two in there as well, yeah. Right, okay. So, yeah, so I do possibly need... So, I mean, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got, like, six building without people. Obviously, I know I've got a couple with two. So, one, two, three. So, but I do need to... I do need to... I need to build this wood up and, obviously, my the clothes as well. It's like worst case scenario, I might have to build another tailor because two people do in the tailor is only just about making it. Obviously, if I get more people in, then they're going to need more clothes. So that's going to be even worse. I don't know if maybe the clothes um, are deteriorating faster because it's winter still or not. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But I think just having bread is not really keeping them... As happy as they could be. Speed up time a little bit. Right, daytime, get to work, boys. Right, so how much is it for another house? So what have we got left to build? Church. 
the bridge, a warehouse we haven't built. Uh, I've built all them three. Haven't built them two yet. Uh, I've got all them three. Uh, I've got all them. And obviously just the different types of housing, but I'm not really too fussed about that. Obviously, uh, this seems like the, the best middle ground. Obviously, these seem a little cold. They're easy to make, but they seem a little cold. And then these are quite expensive on stone. So it seems like that's a decent sort of middle ground to go for the, like, just the wood house. So obviously, I do want to make another wood house. What do we need for that? 25 wood and 4 stone. Okay. Oh, we need to get our clothes up though. Clothes are really low. Obviously, like I said, tools seem to last a while. So I'm happy with that. Once that gets down to about 5, maybe I'll put someone else in there. Uh, are we still producing a lot of bread? Yeah, we're producing more flour, which is good. Which in turn should produce... Obviously, I can only have one in there. So, we have, we're producing enough flour to make bread. Uh, we're sort of producing a lot of wood, obviously having two. I need this to be faster though, the clothes. Especially if I'm going to make another house. I mean, another house brings in what? Um, three, is it three people? Yeah, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Yeah, so each house brings in three people. And I'll probably I'll probably need another two houses. Because I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But then I've got doubled up on some people here. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, so I think another house for now should be alright. Alright, I just need a bit more stone now. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a forester off. Because we're at our limit now. for our, well, We're at where we want to be for the house. Um, see, food's okay, so I don't need them on the fissure. Um, blacksmith tools are still good. Um, what is what's medicine like? Eleven, that's fine. Uh, maybe I might start because firewood's okay as well. I might start maybe making the the brewery. Let's put him in there. And let's start making some stuff ready for the tavern. Maybe. I don't know what he makes. I mean, will he just grab whatever or? Obviously, I don't really know how it works. I wish you could sort of pick which one you want. Because I'm sure you can do that with something, can't you? Yeah, here, like add order. I wish you could do that with other things as well, like add order a beer or wine. Um, I mean, again, these are just ideas for the devs sort of later on down the line. You could do the same for the tailor as well, maybe. So you could have like maybe a three tier of clothing. So you could have like a light clothing just made out of cloth. Then you could have like a medium clothing made out of leather. And then maybe like a heavy clothing made out of wool. And you could sort of obviously each tier uh, allows you to have a different like sort of different tier of warmth. So obviously the wool obviously will keep you warm the most and the cloth the least. And you could add an order like you can with the blacksmith. So I need, I need an order of like warm clothing. So you just, just make that or just make this. And I think that's quite cool. I think that would be a good idea for the future. Because you can do it here. Like you can select what animals to kill and what not to. So that's cool as well. I don't really need another pasture at the minute though. We're doing really well with just two. And we're doing really well with just two fields as well. We seem to have enough wheat. See we're still at 39. And we've still got two people in there working overtime. Alright speed up time again because everyone's asleep. Uh, I just want to see this brewery starting really. Alright, slow it down a little bit. Uh, we need... How many stone was it? Was it four or five for the house? Four. So we're nearly there for the stone. We can put up another house. We get some more production going. Uh, firewood's down to 30, but that's okay. We're coming into summer now, so I don't think they use as much. So that's fine. Uh, clothing's still up to five. That's fine. Uh, I'm just trying to think as well with the whole, with the wood, what was it, with the army, the wood wall, slow down the uh, enemy's attack. I think, oh, watchtower as well, but that's locked. 
Uh, I think that might be like a future development thing. Yeah, so it might be good to sort of maybe start putting up a wall. But obviously, I want it quite far away because obviously, like, if I want to expand my base, I should block off. I should just block off the bridge. Like if I get a wall, if I just put it in front of the bridge there, then, then they can't get over. I should try that, actually. I'm going to try that in the next episode. We're going to try see if we just block the bridge off. That's going to that'll be funny. See if we can, they can get through it. Just block the bridge off, surely. How else are they going to get over? If I block the bridge. Right, what am I What am I waiting on now? It was, I know it was the housing. Yeah, it was the four and four. Right, okay. Are we making stuff as well? Oh, we've made nine wine already. Sweet. It's from the berries, huh? I mean, do they use berries first and then wheat? I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the sort of consistency is of it. Right, let's... Can I cut down this tree? Just because it's in my way. And then let's get another house up. This might be the last house for a while. So I want to line it up right. Yeah, cut down this tree for me, boy. Good lad. Alright, happiness at 24. Alright, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I'm going to put the wood house right next to this one. I think I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to do one more. And then that'll be that sort of like street done. Well, on this side anyway. And then what I'll do... Just to make it look cool. Is I'll put like some other houses. I'll leave a bit of a gap in the middle. Oh, they're not really very straight, are they? I was going to leave a little gap in the middle. And then put a row of houses sort of maybe here. I'll like, make like our little first street. Have I got a labourer? Oh, I have got a labourer. So I have got one guy spare anyway. Okay, why is that? I thought everyone was on a job. Maybe I just kept one labourer for something. I don't know. Clothes are looking up now. That's good. I constantly need to keep two people in there, I think. Who's killed in a battle? No. Mate, it's always my, it's always my bloody miner. Everyone's inside, though. Ah, oh, it's always my miner. Because he's like... They've... Actually, he shouldn't have even been at work, should he? Right like middle of the night. Does that mean I've not got a labourer now? Yeah... So someone's gone back in the mine. Unless you was my, you might have been my labourer. Right, let's. Uh, where have I got? What's bread like at the minute? See, bread's still low. Right, let's take one guy off the mill now. Let's have him as a labourer. Hopefully, he'll build this house. Obviously, we're doing all right for flour now. He's just the the bakery's just having a bit of problem turning it into bread now. So. Now we've got a bit of a backlog of flour. Let's knock that down to one. Uh, we've still got plenty of um, sort of wheat as well. Is that 37? Uh, we're making 18 wine. I don't know what it takes until they make beer. Unless it's like they just run out of berries. Got 34 berries there. All right, that house is up. So we're, up to, we're going to get 18 people in now. It's beautiful. Right, guys. So, yes, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you did like it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, both the likes and subscribes really do help me out massively. So, if you could show your support, man, by liking and subscribing, it would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, I have noticed that 80% of you guys who are watching the videos have not subscribed. So, if you just take a couple of seconds out just to smack that subscribe button if you're enjoying what you're seeing. And, yeah, if you are liking it, don't forget to smash that like button as well. Um... Yeah, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out and it's showing me and sort of it sort of shows me that you guys are interested and it sort of spurs me on to keep continuing making this content. So yeah, don't forget to show your support. And uh, yeah, until the next time guys, have a good one. Peace out.